Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie, the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. All right, everybody, in today's video, I've got a bunch of new Dollar Tree finds. Now, I am pretty impressed so far. I have been seeing some new stuff arrive at my Dollar Tree that um, were things that we didn't have before. Um, I haven't yet really noticed, like, maybe better quality type of things that, you know, I know that they have promised, but we also know that there's some shipping issues going on right now because of the pandemic. And so, um, I don't know, I'm pretty optimistic on uh, what we've got kind of coming and uh, I'm optimistic on the things that I found. I'm really excited about the things I found. So let's jump into it. Of course, you know, the very first thing I'm gonna talk about are socks. I found so many socks. <laughs> um, yeah, I found a lot of socks, you guys. Now I have a sock problem. Um, I really like patterned socks and um, like I'm just gonna surround myself in socks. I don't like like, you know, foot stuff, right? that's weird. But uh, I like socks, I like socks with my clothes. And uh, the thing about the Dollar Tree socks is that they're so fun and I have a dresser drawer that is just devoted to nothing but socks, as you can imagine. And um, I do get to a point where I go in there and I kind of clean out and uh, yes, I have a lot of socks still that have tags on them. And a lot of homeless shelters need socks. And socks and underwear actually is one of the biggest things that a lot of shelters call for. So a lot of times I will take socks that I'm not wearing or that I bought, you know, or maybe I've bought doubles of by accident. And um, I will put those in the um, drawer that is kind of going or that I'm gonna be donating to. So, um, you know, keep that in mind also when you're finding socks out there. So let's just run through them because there's some great ones. This is a two pack, a two for one. Now, I'm probably not gonna be wearing these fluorescent ones anytime soon, but I do love this pattern. And uh, for two pair for a dollar, this is from Gildan, I think is how you say this brand. And I have seen this brand at Walmart. I've seen it at a lot of different stores like that. And uh, I mean, for two pairs of socks, you know, whatever dollar 25 is divided by, you know, it's what, uh, uh, 50 plus 12, so 62 cents each. You know, not too bad for a haul. These I thought were so cute, especially with summertime coming. Um, barbecue socks, like how cute are those burgers and the spatula and the, the poker thing. Um, again, super, super cute, love these. These I was obsessed with because blue is my favorite color and gray is my next favorite color. And they had blue and gray sharks. How cute are those? And then these, I get called a bear all the time. I don't understand it, but um, this is super, super cute as well. I wish they would have been like blue, but that's okay. Um, these I thought were super cute. And this is one of the duplicate pairs I bought. And um, this like big mouth bass, how cute is that? Juncture is really fun with their socks. These I thought were adorable. They kind of remind me of camo, but they're doggies. Don't tell Mr. Otis. And then um, I've got these green bumblebees, which I thought were super cute. Bees are really popular right now. And then I have these um, kind of deer antlers. These I was obsessed with. I love these football ones, football season, you know, Super Bowl, all that good stuff. These are gold toe socks, which is a very high end brand. This is a very expensive brand. These retailed for $7. Got them for $1.25. They have like hula girls on them. Super, super cute. I got another pack of the Gildan brand and um, they have this great pattern. And then they just have a black pair with the kind of uh, blue footbed there. And uh, again, for two or for two pair for $1.25, this is definitely a great deal. And then um, these are so fun. The only thing I don't like is that they're in white. I wish they, they were in a different color, but look, and the dinosaurs. <laughs> I really, really like these. And then, yeah, I'm a bonehead. I shop at different Dollar Trees sometimes, and then I kind of get, you know, bags and then do hauls. And um, I bought the same ones. So these will go into that package that um, I kind of save and take to the shelter or to the Goodwill, wherever. Not to Goodwill, but to shelter. All right. 
Dollar Tree Plus, the plus side of Dollar Tree, which is the $3, $5, $10 items, um, I found a package of 20 washcloths. Now I use these types of washcloths in my craft room. And um, what's great about them is that I, I use them for paint. I use them for antiquing wax. You can wash them. Do they come clean? No, but they're good for just paint and for rubbing off and for, you know, staining and just anything like that that you do in your craft room. And because I have been buying the two packs of the bar mops from Dollar Tree, um, I figured like for five bucks, you know, 20 of them. And they almost feel like the bar mops that I typically get. So I'm going to try these in my craft room. And again, you know, I just use whatever on them and then just throw them in the washer. And if they come clean, great. If they don't, that's okay too, because they're just going back in the craft room or in the uh, kind of garage shed thing I have outside. I call it a garage shed thing because it's like wide like a garage, but you can't put a car in there. You can barely put a bike in there because it's under the foundation of the house. Anyway, um, I thought this was cute. This is a um, dice and uh, it's, it's, not like an adult dice. That would be weird, especially Dollar Tree. But, um, you know, it's like, no way it has, or wait, yeah, no way it has, go all out, it has, the next day, it has, overthink it. I think that's supposed to be like a thumbs up, maybe. And then, um, I don't know what that one is because it's covered by the sticker. But I thought that this is fun. I like to have stuff like this when I, oh, it's a thumbs up for a thumbs down. Okay, I see what it is now. So um, I like to have stuff like this in, on my desk. And um, I like to have stuff like this not only in my home, but on, on my home office, uh, but also in my work office. We are getting ready to probably start going back into the office fairly soon. And so this is just kind of something fun to be able to put on the desk and, um, you know, people come in, they want to yell at you about something, you can let them play with the dice. Um, the other thing that I found are these great new air fresheners. Um, they're by SureSense. And uh, SureSense, I don't know if that's exclusive to Dollar Tree. Let's see if it says Greenbrier on the back here. It does. Okay, so SureSense is a brand that is a Dollar Tree brand. And uh, Gardenia is another scent. I was getting ready to say flavor, but a scent that I really do like. It actually reminds me of my grandmother. And then this Bamboo and Lotus was another scent that I really thought would be cool. I like to put scents like this in my bathroom and just keep them very light. And um, I don't know. I love the, the pump on them. And I think that they're going to smell good. I hope they're going to smell good. I certainly didn't. Um, I wasn't one of those people in the store that, you know, sprays it because... That sucks when people do that. Because um, then I end up buying one that's got less than what it should in it. And I don't want that. Um, I found some really cool fabric swatches that were there. Um, I call them fabric swatches. It's fabric squares. Um, they are 18 by 21 inches. And um, I just kind of love that tartan plaid. I thought that that could be really cool. I was thinking even maybe St. Patty's Day or something like that. But uh, I probably will just keep them in the stash and maybe even for some Father's Day DIY ideas or something. I don't know. And then I thought this one could be really cool for Easter coming up just because it's got this really pretty floral. And um, they had a lot of just solid color ones too. Ooh, this one, this one has a like, makeup stain or something gross. Um, <laughs> uh, but they had a lot of just solid color ones too. So I imagine as we get closer to springtime, they're going to be bringing out more and more of those kind of floral scents. Um, this was something that I thought was kind of cool, especially since I had COVID and I still have some residual like congestion and stuff from it. But um, this is an immunity booster tea. And um, I thought that this would be great to also keep kind of in the home office area here um, because I can have tea throughout the day and I, it's easy and just being able to pop one of these into the tea bag or into the water. Um, there's not really any, um, well, there is some info on here. It's 100% all natural um, and it's way too small for me to read. So um, find it, look for it, see if it's any good. Let me know in the comments. Um, the other thing I grabbed, this was so freaking cute. Now, um, 
I use a company called Sudshare because I have three jobs and uh, one of them is YouTube and I don't have time to do laundry and I have figured out that if I can pay somebody else to do it and I've got the money to do it, why not treat myself? I don't need any more stuff. I don't need to buy any more, you know, stuff that's not related to YouTube, personal stuff. And um, doing laundry actually helps. And we have a company called Sudshare. Sudshare is a nationally, um, you know, national company. Um, they, it's kind of like an Uber or a Lyft for your laundry. They come and pick up the laundry at your house. They wash it. They put it back in your house, um, or they drop it back off at your porch. And, um, it's a dollar a load. And, uh, I, this isn't sponsored by Sudshare or anything, but I do use them a lot. Um, so there's a link in my Instagram bio. So if you follow me on Instagram, go to my link and it says Sudshare and you do get a referral if you end up using it, but it's a dollar a pound. They will put things on hangers for you. If you want them on hangers, um, you will, they will use, um, you know, uh, different detergents. Like I usually use like a, a fragrance free or like a, uh, forget what it's called, a detergent that doesn't have a lot of additives and things like that. And it's, it's pretty cool, but that was a long story. I'm so sorry. Um, the laundry bag here, wore it once, don't feel like hanging it up. I mean, how cute is that? It was $3. It was in the uh, Dollar Tree Plus section, but again, super, super cute. Had to have it. I've got a couple. Now, these are for Mr. Otis, but don't tell him because I've caught him going into the craft room and sneaking into the Dollar Tree bags and actually pulling toys out when he sees them. Now, I don't like to give all these to him right away because um, I like to switch his toys out. He's got a couple of favorites and he always plays with them, but there are some that he never plays with. So I want to, you know, kind of get rid of those and, and bring some new ones. And I've not seen these before. This one I'm obsessed with. I hope he really likes it. And then this one I thought was cute. So. Um, yeah, we're going to put those, well, one's on the floor. He's already going to get it. Um, so anyway, yeah, that, that's for Otis. Um, this was a great frame that I found and I loved that kind of texture. It's hard to see because you're getting the glare of the TV in the background there, but it's almost like a snake skin kind of a pattern. I thought that that was super, super cool. I don't know if I like the gray and the silver together. Um, I mean, it's just not my kind of color choice. I might have done this brown and black. And I was even thinking that could be a DIY, honestly, because um, it's such a cool frame. Um, I've seen these before. I've bought them before. I've broken them or lost them or given them away. But um, the kind of faux Cricut tools they have there, these are really good for a lot of different things. Now, I don't use my Cricut tools for this type of uh, project but I will use these like this I've used to scrape off like um you know how you buy those glass like um they're like the, the piggy banks that have the glass fronts to them at Dollar Tree and they say like you know travel fund or something like that you can use this baby and you can scrape that stuff off and um kind of the same with this also and I've used this to hold like hot glue and different things down so that's kind of why I bought those again um the other thing I found that I thought was super, super cute, and I actually, again, saw this um, on Thrifty Tiffany's video, but um, it was just this kind of unassuming box, just like a little thing. I thought, okay, what is that? You open it up, it's like Post-it Note Palooza. How amazing is that? Like, you get the smaller little tabs, you also get the larger ones. What I think is great about this, too, is... Um, it's totally refillable. So you could use this box for something else if you wanted to, because it's a sturdy box. But I have seen these smaller tabs and these smaller post-it notes kind of at, you know, places like Target and where school supplies and stuff are. And so you could easily refill this if you wanted to have something very cute. And again, because that tray does come out, you could just put regular post-it notes in here and keep this for, you know, a long, long time on your desk. Now, Crafter Square is always coming out with these random shapes and wood pieces and different things. And I do like to get them because um, I don't have a lot of scrap wood laying around. So I grabbed these while I was out because um, they were cool. I only grabbed three because they were the only three that they had. Typically, I would like to grab four of these. But again, you know, <laughs> this I probably struggle with a little bit because it's not really worth $1.25 in my opinion. Um, but 
I don't have a lot of access to just random pieces of wood. So if I were to go to Home Depot or Lowe's, I would probably jump into that, uh, you know, free wood bin that they have where they sell or they, they give away kind of miscellaneous scraps like this. Um, you can also look on Facebook Marketplace. You can talk to a neighbor that might have a wood pile. You can get scrap wood other ways. Um, so I don't know if I'll continue to buy those or not. Um, this is a great flashlight that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And I like this one because it's a two-in-one flashlight. It has um, your regular flashlight here that has 50 lumens, which apparently means it's going to be super bright. And then also on this side, there's an LED light to it as well. So like you can see, it's kind of on the handle there. And then you've got this, which I think is really cool. I want to actually have a... Um, a kit in my car that has, you know, some things like this. Uh, we had some snow and ice spells throughout the year, and I want to have some kind of a kit in my car that has like flashlights and maybe some of those plastic cones, um, you know, a, a warming blanket, the hand warmer things. I want to have some stuff like that just in case I were to ever get stranded on the road somewhere. I think it's a good idea, and I think it's also very cool to have that stuff in general you know, in your car, whether you live in a, you know, you you may get, you might not be in a snowy and icy climate, but you still might get stranded somewhere. And it's always good to have stuff. Um, the other thing that I thought was really cool are some new chalkboard pieces that I found for Crafter Square. Now this is one of them. And then they have this one that's a little bit longer than that one. Again, thought that was super cute. And then they had this little um, stand this is a chalkboard, but it's on a little stand. So again, super, super cute. This is so cool for a, tier, a tiered tray. These would be fun in the kitchen or like your kid's workstation area, maybe where their homework is. You can make a note for each kid, you know, or a, a board for each kid and then leave them individual notes. Um, I don't know. I thought that those were really fun. Um, this sign I picked up because I liked the fact that it has these three separate pieces. It's just very simple string on the back, so you could even break these up if you wanted to use them. Um, I thought that this could be a fun DIY project, actually, and I have an idea for this one coming up for a uh, collaboration video I'm doing with Cricut. So that could be actually something that you end up seeing in there. Um, it's so funny, when I was going through all of those socks, I didn't see this pair, that was down at the bottom, but, um, I mean, come on, the little barns, the little windmills, how freaking cute is that? Love it, love it, love it. Um, another um, sense thing for the car. Um, it's funny, I didn't have my mask on, so or I had my mask on, but I couldn't really smell it, so let's see now. Oh, it's actually nice, okay. It's called Hot Stone, and these are those vent clips. Um, I only usually just need one of these for my car, and they work pretty well. I was actually really happy with it, so. We'll see how it goes. And then speaking of car, they're also selling things like this now. And this is a foaming wheel cleaner that I thought I would give a try on my car. And uh, we'll see, you know, see how it works. My car is a black car, so it's constantly dirty. And um, I like shiny wheels, so we'll see how it goes. I'll wait for that. Uh, this is another thing that I think could be really, really good. It's a work light. But what, what's cool about it is it has a magnet on the back of it. So it actually will stick to anywhere metal. And then there's also a, a hanger on the, or a, an option to hang it on the back too. Now this one, the flashlight that I showed you earlier had 50 lumens and this one has 150 lumens. And again, such a cute little handy light, you push it. And, um, or I'm sorry, you don't push it. There's an on off switch up there. But what's cool about this is that it has magnets on the back. Now, I don't know about you, but I am always the type that when the power goes out, I'm looking for my flashlight because I never know where I put it. I'm gonna put this on the refrigerator. That way it's always there. It's always there. I put it on the side of the refrigerator where nobody's gonna see it, but I know where it's at. And um, I think it's really cool. Apparently I really liked this fabric because I forgot that I bought three of these, but um, that's okay. I will make sure that there's a project that goes with those now. And then um, another brand name item that I was super excited about. This is a prebiotic moisturizing hand soap from a company called Tom's. Tom's is a very good, good brand. And they had like three or four different scents 
of um, a hand soap. I do not need three or four of these. I live by myself. I have hand soap already in the bathroom. I have hand soap already in the kitchen. And uh, this was something that I wanted to buy to show you guys. And I also wanted to be able to put this one in the bathroom because my bathroom um, hand soap is almost gone. So um, how cool is that? I wish I could buy everything that I wanted to buy there because um, we'd have like a five hour haul. Can you imagine? Oh my God, that would be insane. This was a light that I had. I bought this before. My dad really liked it, so I ended up giving it to him. And um, it's such a great task light to have. Now, my kind of garage shed thing that I was talking about earlier um, doesn't have a light in there, but it does have a little eye hook that I kind of screwed into the ceiling. And this is perfect for that. It takes batteries. It is super, super bright. Let's see if it gives the lumens on here. Um, it just says LED lantern, super bright and adjustable. And it is adjustable because you can kind of dim it or brighten it up this way with this little knob, which is great. And then it does take batteries, which is super, super cool. It just screws off. And then as you can see, your batteries go there. And it takes three, I think it's double A batteries. I'm almost positive. Let's see if it says it on here. Yep, three double A batteries. And I just, honestly, my last one, I just hung it up on that hook and it didn't matter if it was summertime or wintertime or what. I just kept it out there and it always worked every time I went out there until I needed to, uh, you know, change the batteries. Um, this was a silicone scrubber that I found and I love this thing. I have had this before. I had this something like this very similar long before I was doing uh, like Dollar Tree hauls and videos. And um, it's so like pliable and you can bend it and you can twist it and you can do all these things with it. And it is so, so great. And it even has that little kind of hook there or that, that, yeah, that hook hanging thing that you could hang it up somewhere if you wanted to use like a command hook and put it somewhere near your sink. Or if you had a sink adapter that had a hook on it. I know I've seen some soap dispensers and things that have little hooks. So, so good because it can dry out and that's such a good staple to have in the kitchen. Uh, this was another little uh, chalkboard thing that I bought. I'm, I'm kind of working on a DIY and what I liked about this is that it's two sided and it's kind of like the sandwich board. So you can see the little cord there. So it will stand up, but I'm thinking about poking the um, chalkboards out and making something with that. So more to come there. And then how cute is this? I have tried to do this macrame stuff and um, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> I've tried a couple different times and it just doesn't work. This I thought was super, super cute. Now the the little threads here are driving me insane, but I'm going to take a lighter to that and clean that up. But how cool would that be in the bathroom? And you could even take some shells maybe and kind of glue them on top of those knots or some pearls or something. I think that there's some really fun things that you could do with this to kind of make that very nautical. Um, they did have some different patterns or some newer patterns to me in the vinyl. Um, and I don't use the vinyl really in my Cricut machine. I'm I'm a, a Cricut guy and I have lots of Cricut vinyl. So I always use that vinyl in my Cricut. And um, this vinyl I use for like coverings. Like if I wanted to do a springtime sign, that could be a very beautiful background to put. to so like cover one of those Dollar Tree signs with. Or if I wanted to line a tray in that rainbow kind of pattern, I thought it was super, super cute. And this one I wanted to open, but I, again, I didn't open it in the store. Um, I almost did, but um, I wanted to just kind of see. It looks like somebody else opened it though, because it is a little mangled on that end there. But look how pretty that is. Like it's really, really fun. And if you were to do like an oversized larger uh, cutout or something, or to line a tray or something like that, like one of those really, um, those $5 wooden trays that you can pick up at Dollar Tree and you just line the bottom of that and then paint it a bright color. That could be really fun for summertime, like out on your porch. And then uh, again, this one here is just that really beautiful pattern. I thought that that was so cute and perfect for springtime. And then uh, this was another glass vase that I found and uh, I was immediately drawn to this. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I bought this one and then uh, since then I've seen some white ones and I've seen, I think, a bluish color one. You know me and blue, we we love each other, but I, I'm wanting to uh, mix in some greens and stuff too and that glass was just gorgeous. Um, 
I'm kind of redoing my front porch, I think, for springtime. And I think this would actually go really well on the front porch. And then they have full-size cereals, some brand name full-size cereals. And um, they had Count Chocula. I have, I've loved this cereal ever since I was a little kid. And they had Booberry. They had, um, I forget what the other ones were. They had some um, like uh, pumpkin spice Cheerios. Um, they had another one of these. It's kind of in this kind of uh, collection of these characters. It's like Count Chocula, Booberry, and something else. But um, I originally had all four boxes in my cart. <laughs> and I was like, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. You're trying to eat better. And um, I put it back, but I kept the Count Chocula. Because, you know, Count Chocula. And it makes your milk chocolate. So, um, yeah, I had to have that. All right. That is my new Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'm pretty excited about the stuff that I'm seeing. Again, they've got some great springtime and Easter things that are coming in as well. And um, it makes for a fun shopping experience sometimes, obviously, when you can find this stuff. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below what your favorites are. I would love to know if your Dollar Tree has gone up to $1.25 yet. And if you have a Dollar Tree plus in your area. I do know that the Dollar Tree website is getting better and they're kind of uh, recognizing which stores are plus stores. So that might help you as well. All right, guys, take care. And uh, I hope you find lots of good bargains. Take care. Bye-bye.